Hello you guys, Sunday 6 Gaming with another video today, and today is the um, seventh part already of the Ultimate Command Blocks uh, tutorial series 3.0. Uh, the next part um, will be the last, so we're almost done. Uh, this one is the give command. So it starts out really simple. I also did this in the general commands, but we're gonna go much deeper into it because there's a lot of things you can do with the give commands. So just gonna start with the basic command, which is just give. Then the person, the specifier, so this is at P, and then dirt. So this is just gonna give me dirt. And you can basically change that ID to anything you want. So if I go slash give tab, my username, and then you can just get a lot of stuff. And now, uh, if you don't know all of these IDs, as you can see, I actually see them below the block. What I actually did to get this, that was F3H. So F3H on your laptop, or I don't know what it is, if it's different on MacBooks, but that's how I got it, and you can see all of those uh, IDs. And most of them are pretty easy to guess as well. Now, next is we're gonna give a stack of items, because this was just one item. But this is give 64, which is the amount you wanna give, and zero is actually the, the well, of certain IDs there are several types, like with wool. So first let's just do dirt. So yeah, this just gives dirt, but now we're gonna get into the type. So the last number there is the type. So this is gonna give me stone one six, which is polished andesite. Because as you can see right there, it's one slash zero, one slash one, one forward slash two, and I gave six here. Same goes for wool, and that's how you basically get those blocks with that last number there. Right, next we're going to give ourselves a player skull. So you can actually give any player's skull if you know their username. So this is just going to give me my skull. So it's give at B skull one tree. So the tree is a player skull. That is important. And then curly bracket skull owner. And then uh, that whole thing. And you can just input any username you want there. So this just gives me my head. And now I can also do... What's the username I can think of really f quickly? Let's just do notch. That should work. And there we go. We now have the notch's head. And yeah, you can basically put in any username you want right there. Next is we're gonna give uh, the item we're giving ourselves a name. So it's a red flower one and then type two. The types are always important. And then display colon curly bracket name and we're gonna call it the face destroyer because for reasons I just <laughs> I don't know just because I can and this is the face destroyer as you can see it's called the face destroyer so yeah pretty simple and yeah you can just put in any name again you want in there between there and there oh no there 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 you can put in any name you want but you can also add a lore which is basically just a bit of text below the title uh, which tells you something about the item so it's the same as before display name but then here we also are going to add lore and then this whole stuff between the square brackets those are important it will destroy your face so if we give this to ourselves and we hover over the over it, it says in purple text below the name below the name, it will destroy your face. And the lore can be really long, so yeah, you can go all out on the lore, but at some point it gets so long you won't even be able to read it. But yeah. Next is we're gonna give ourselves an item with an enchantment. So this is just the same, we're just building up the command. So we've got the lore and the name now. Now we're gonna go add this tag. All commands will be in the description as always. Um, this is enchantment and then square brackets. And between those square brackets, we're gonna use curly brackets to use to add several uh, enchantments. So this is gonna give it sharpness and uh, knockback. Now, why do I have this odd number 16,995? Because that is the number which is basically the maximum enchantment you can do with commands. So, there you go. Now, it is really the face destroyer and it will destroy practically anything's face. This will insta kill an ender dragon. Let's just first try it with a creeper. But yeah, not only does it insta kill them, it also just 
they disappear because the knockback so if you were to take off the uh, sharpness it would just knock them out of the loaded chunks that's how far it goes now next are is to add an attribute um, attributes are a little bit more complicated this is once again just build up from the command we've had so far and um, but we're replacing the enchantment it looks like Mo attribute modifiers again with the same uh, format like the enchantment square brackets within those curly brackets which um, actually contain all of the attributes so this is just one attribute uh, I don't actually know sure uh, oh look it says here attack damage so this whole stuff is just um, I advise you copy it I just did it one time and then I'm just copying it every time and configuring it how I want because that's just faster most of the time so this is basically gonna give me how many zeros are that one trillion or one billion a lot of attack damage basically nine zeros <laughs> nine zeros right yeah nine zeros so once again this will inskill everything since the ender dragon has 500 health so this is just unnecessary but it's fun to do to just make the most op thing ever next we are going to use all of the before to basically just create a super item <laughs> So there's just a lot of attributes here. I'm not going to explain this entire command. I'll just put it in the description. Basically, it has a lot of attributes, a lot of enchantments, and the same name. As you can see, really long command there. So, Face Destroyer, Sharpness, Knockback, Smite, Bane of Artipods, and Fire Aspect, 16,995. It will destroy your face. Plus 100 max health, plus 5 speed, uh, 1 billion attack damage, I think it is, and plus 100 knockback resistance. So if we hold this thing... <coughs> Let's make sure I don't actually lose the command blocks. So, yeah. Oh, shit. <laughs> you go just insanely fast. It's crazy. So, yeah. And if I go to game mode is zero. I said game mode zero. As you can see, I now have six health bars. They are not filled up yet, but you can just give regen or instant health to fill them up. And yeah, basically five health bars. And you can give even more if you want. I don't actually know for sure what the maximum is, but it's pretty high, I think. So next is attack, which is really useful for adventure maps, which is can destroy and then square between square brackets, the blocks it can destroy. So this is going to give me a diamond shovel, which can only destroy sand and dirt. So let's just give it to us and it can, can and it says there below uh, the attack damage can break sand and dirt. So let's get some dirt. Let's get some sand. Go to survival again. Minus zero isn't the game mode. And as you can see. Oh no wait. Game out. This only works in adventure mode I think. Wait what? No, it can, it's, it gives the particles, but you can't actually break it. It doesn't actually work. But if I put... I can't actually put dirt down because I'm in adventure mode. <laughs> Did not think about that. So, let's put it like that. Go to adventure mode again. As you can see, I, can't I couldn't break the quartz. I can't break the brick. I can't break anything, but I can break the dirt and the sand now if you're wondering why nothing dropped I think that that is because of the game rule command tutorial where I turned off um, tile drops if you want to know more about that check out the episode about game rule commands next um, potions you can also give all kinds of potions with the gift command now this is a little bit because the types I would recommend looking them up I'll also try to link a list in the description below of all the potion types because as you can see they are pretty long and yeah so let's just see what was this again splash potion of speed 2 so this is just a normal pretty normal potion gives me speed and it's just a splash potion so that's how you give potions just need to know the types which I'll link below next is give a custom potion because you can actually customize what uh, stuff the potions give so that you can actually make custom potions which give several effects and that's really cool so this one is just so it's just custom potion effects uh, again a little bit the same format as the enchantments um, 
uh, square brackets within those square brackets you use curly brackets so I've only got one here this is gonna give me speed 100 so let's give this to us and it says plus 2020 percent speed Woo. and as you can see it's pretty gosh darn fast so let's just do slash effect clear so <laughs> I don't want to be running around not even being able to right click on the armor so next is just a super potion where I added a lot of these effects um, also this one will be in the description I'm not gonna go by all of them because it's just the last one but with more effects and yeah I think it gives just about every positive effect that there is in the game so this gives jump boost speed haste strength instant health regeneration resistance fire resistance water breathing invisibility night vision health boost absorption and saturation for 833 minutes and 20 seconds yeah <laughs> and it gives them all at level 100 so if we go to gimatsuro as you can see <laughs> we've got an abnormal amount of health bars and then we've got another abnormal amount of absorption heart, hearts because we've got absor absorption. We can also jump incredibly high. I don't know. Are we going to die from this? Because we are going really high. Are we still going up? No, we're going down. I actually survived that. So, yeah. And also if I run... Um, holy shit. Um, it gives me also... It also gives me invisibility, water breathing, fire resistance, resistance, all that stuff. Oh, the resistance is why I didn't die. So basically, I have an abnormal amount of hearts, but still can't take damage because I have the resistance 100. So let's just clear the effects once again. Otherwise, I am going to kill myself or something. Well, that isn't really possible, but it's just going to be irritating. Next is, um, well, super armor. So... Yeah, once again, really long command. Let's just do this. Oh, crap. Yeah, I have a command block for each piece. So, oh, did I already click that one? Yeah, that's the chest plate. I already clicked that one. Wait, what? Apparently, there's something wrong with this one. I think I checked them all, but apparently there's something wrong with one of them. Uh, the helmet, but that doesn't matter. I'll fix it and put it in the description anyway, so that the helmet does work if you try to use the command. So basically, they all have protection, fire protection, blast protection, projector protection, torns in the case of the chest plate, and unbreaking 16,995. Um, chest plate of awesome, redefining awesome. So once again, the name and the lore. Uh, max health, attack damage, knockback resistance, 5 speed, um, these are the same, but this one also has depth strider and all that stuff, so if I just put it on, I'm abnormally fast, um, and if I go in water, oh, <laughs> can't even get in the water, I'm still abnormally fast, because I've got depth strider and speed, so yeah, pretty great, and so that's pretty much the most OP armor you could possibly make just about so let's just clear the effects again crap no oh, I don't have any effects I just have the armor on so yeah I will make the helmet work and put it in the description anyway and now there were two things that I kind of forgot and added on later and that's uh, you can also instead of using unbreaking you can just add this tag unbreakable colon one so this just makes it Unbreakable, so this ch uh, diamond chest plate will never take damage and never break. It will just never break, so that's really useful if you don't want gear to break in an adventure map or something. And next is uh, how to get dyed armor. Um, I actually didn't think of this, but I got a comment about it, and well, basically, it's display color and then the color code. So I'll put a list. Of all the color codes once again down in the description i don't know if it will be in text or it will be a link depends if i can find one um but it will be there and yeah you can just basically take over those colors and make dyed armor so this is just a purple chest plate of leather so that is the slash gift command as you can see really awesome stuff a lot of cool things and just a lot of stuff you can mess around with and troll your friends with if you want use it however you will i hope you enjoyed the video and i'll see you guys in the next one